What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to get Cody on your Fire TV stick. So if you don't know what Cody is, it's right here. Cody is basically a program that you can install on Android boxes, Fire TV sticks, your computer, a bunch of devices that gives you movies, TV shows, live TV, sporting events, pay-per-views, all for free. Uh, now we don't know if this, nobody really knows, it's like a gray area if it's illegal or not, but Right now, it's not illegal, so you can perfectly get it. Fine, and I'm gonna show you how to do that without the use of a computer. So, what you're gonna wanna get <clears throat> first is you wanna, you're obviously gonna wanna set up an account, an Amazon account, um, and set up your, your Fire TV stick and everything. And then you wanna go to settings. Um, so, I already have an account set up here. Uh, you just basically you just log in with your Amazon account and everything. When you first open the box, you'll, it'll tell you how to do all that. Then you're going to want to go to settings, you want to go to system. Uh, you obviously want to set up your network. Then you want to go to developer options. You want to turn ADB bugging on and apps from unknown sources on. Um, anything down here? That's about it. <clears throat> um, then you want to go to the search area and you want to search for an app. It's called ES. You're going to want to type in ES. <clears throat> Oops. ES, it's ES Explorer, right there. This is what the icon looks like. So once you get this, you're gonna want to hit install. It takes a little, it takes time to install. Mine's already installed, so I'm gonna open it. It's gonna open up, and you're gonna see this little, this little page, whatever. Um, F, no, I don't want that. So. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go all the way to the left. See over here, all the way to the left with settings and everything. You're gonna hit, you're gonna hit the favorites button. Hit the favorites button. Then you're gonna go down and click add. Click add. And what you're gonna type in the path is you're gonna type in the Cody download page. So now mind, I already did all this, so I'm just gonna do it over and, um, and everything. So H, you're gonna type in H T T P. Semicolon forward slash forward slash Cody. Where is it? <clears throat> Cody. Oh my god. Dot TV slash. Download. Nice and simple. Download. And then you hit next. Then you just you just hear when it comes to this, you just call it whatever you want. So I'm gonna call mine Cody. Cody Zero. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Anything. You can call it whatever you want. Hit next. And then it'll say add to favorite. You click the add, you click add. And it'll say bookmark created successfully. So on the left hand side, you're going to want to go all the way down until until you see what you just created. So I just made Cody zero. That was my path that I called it. So whatever you called it, click on it, click uh, the, the center button. <clears throat> and then what it will do, it will bring you to the Cody download page. <clears throat> just give it, give it a uh, second to load. Here we are on the Cody download page. Now, let me see if I can zoom in. You see where my little cursor is? Right here, where the Android and Linux, Mac, OS X, you see where the little cursor is? What you're gonna do is you wanna go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. <clears throat> uh, keep going down. Now, I don't want this development build Cody 17.0 Krypton because it's, it's, it's development. I don't wanna cr get crashes and everything. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down, go past this. And I want to go to current release, Cody 16.1 Jarvis. Now on the Fire Stick, since it's running Android base, you want to go over to the Android uh, section. And under Android, you'll see ARM. You see ARM? Not, you'll see ARM, you'll see x86, and you'll see help. What you're going to do is you're going to click on ARM. Click, click that one time. Just click it once. I just clicked it once. Then, after you click at the Enter button once, you want to go all the way over here. So click left. 
until you reach the left side. See, my cursor's right there, all the way left. Then you want to do all the way down, all the way down until you get to this bottom, this bottom row. Then you go all the way right until you get to more. More with the three dots. You'll get to more with the three dots above it, and you click enter on that. You click open in browser once. And after you click that, this will pop up. Um, it's going to want you to download this, uh, what we just, the Kodi. It's going to want you to download the official application of the Kodi. So when this pops up, you'll see ES, you'll see open with ES File Explorer, or you'll see something else, maybe Chrome or something. But for this, just hit just once. <clears throat> And then it'll download. It'll take a minute to download, um, depending on how fast your connection is. <laughs> then when that's done, oh, we'll wait for it. When that's done, this will pop up. You don't have to do anything because it's already going to pop up for you. Um, I'm just going to do this because I already have it downloaded. So, see, it's right here in my download folder. So when it pops up, this is going to happen. It's going to say... It's going to bring this up. You're going to want to hit install. And then I don't want to do it now because I already have it installed. I don't want to mess anything up. And then once it installs, another page will come up and it'll say open folder or open file. You're going to want to open file. After you do that, it'll open up right into Kodi. It's pretty straightforward. So you just hit install when it comes up. And then you go to open, f open file, not open folder. Open file and then Kodi will pop right up for you. So when you first open it, you would see something like this. I already installed a different build, but this is how you would see it. What you want to do to get this uh, this build that I have that basically installs everything you want. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to System, go to File Manager. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to all the way to the bottom. You'll, you won't have any add-ons like I do. You hit Add Source, you click on you click on the enter button. What you're going to want to type here is type in HTTP colon. Uh, why is it not focusing? Forward slash, forward slash, Aries, A R E S, Aries Wizard, Aries Wizard. Aries Wizard dot, oops, dot, oh my god, dot co dot uk. So right there, http semicolon four slash four slash Aries Wizard dot co dot uk. Then you click done. Then you're just going to want to name it whatever you want. Uh, name it Aries or Z or X or whatever. I'm going to name it X. Once you do that, you hit OK. Then um, after maybe like a few seconds, you're going to uh, update on the bottom right. It'll say Aries is now updated or Aries add-on install or whatever. Um, <clears throat> then what you're going to do, you're going to want to go back and go to program add-ons. You're going to go to programs, program add-ons, and I'm going to just view it as a thumbnail. You're going to click on Aries wizard. Bang. And it'll take a second to load. It might, it might, you might have to like click it a couple times for it to load fully. Um, so it says working in the bottom right, but sometimes that disappears and you have to click it again. So just do that. It'll say checking for updates. See, I'm gonna have to click it a third time. <clears throat> and it should work the third time. Might have to, not, might have to double click the middle button to do it, but it'll work. It's, it's just very like buggy not buggy but this really isn't supposed to be on the fire stick so they might run you might have a few problems but it'll open just give it time be patient and yeah, it'll work there we go now what you want to do is you want to go in the top left corner and hit browse builds you can also browse add-ons but we don't if you don't want any uh get any big build you can browse add-ons but you really don't know what add-ons are yet so browse builds you'll get a big list of builds now I had the Apollo one which comes with a bunch of add-ons 
uh, but I feel like it was too much mega. It was too much memory, so it was like what was it, 600 megabytes, and it installed a lot of add-ons, which I didn't need. So I like this uh, Fire TV Guru one, which is perfect for the Fire TV stick. So you hit the middle button on that one, hit enter on that. It says working on the bottom right. And what you want to you know, get to this little list, and you want to click the. What you doing here? You're gonna to want to go down to the Fire TV Build. Right there, Fire TV Build. Now you go. You don't have to click A on it. You click right, and you go to install. Then it'll install everything for you. After it's done installing, you're gonna let it do its thing. It'll take a few minutes, maybe like five, ten minutes to install, basing um basic basing your depending on your connection, how fast you are. After it installs, it'll say, do you want to back up uh, the uh, the Cody build that's already on? You can click yes or no. I usually I try to click yes. It's it never works for me, so just hit no. Then it'll say Cody has to restart or quit out. Click OK. Cody will restart and quit out. Then you just go right back to it. It'll bring you back to your little home screen. Then you go down to apps or whatever, wherever your Cody is, you find it. <clears throat> and there's my Cody. And then it'll open up and you will see, and you will get to this screen. Um, and here it is. So movies, TV shows. All in one live TV guide, basically a bunch of stuff. Um, so the best, the best um, movie add-on is Exodus. Um, I was up, it was up here. I don't know why it's not up here anymore. Um, TV shows, the best is Exodus. So you want to use Exodus a lot. That's my favorite one. Um, where is it? Where's the sports? The Sports Center. The best one for this one is Pro Pro Sports. That's the best one. Has all your shit everything so let's just go to movies real fast and go to exodus exodus has every single movie like ever created every tv show um it's it's really good look at all this most voted most popular new in theaters um just a bunch of movies that you can watch new movies let's go to new movies and check it out I used this last night. I was watching Girl on the, the what was it? The Girl on the Train or something like that. That was a pretty good movie with Emily Blunt. It came in HD. It works. All these movies work. Every single one, every single TV show works. Uh, so you don't got to worry about it. It doesn't it doesn't load or buffer or any of that. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really good app. Really good program to have. There we go. And the picture should pop up in a few minutes, a few seconds. There we go. Yep, La La Land, Suicide Squad, Magnificent Seven, just a bunch of movies that you guys can see. Uh, movies that are in theaters like The Arrival, uh, Fantastic Beasts, uh, Sully, Inferno, Zootopia, just, just a bunch of movies. Oh, Lion, what's that? Uh, but War Dogs, yeah, everything you can think of. Any TV show, any TV show you can think of also works um, by genre by new anything just just you you, t you can also go down to search um, below where it says people search is another search button to go down um, and you can search for your favorite tv shows but yeah guys that is cody and how to install cody on your fire tv stick without using a computer it's very simple um, any other questions just post in the comments below make sure to hit the subscribe button and then like button um, and any other questions, just ask below. And if you want me to put up an, another video showing you guys something, uh, I can do that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, it helped you, some of you out. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.